Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at page 11 of the Unit 11 packet. Huh, page 11 of the Unit 11 packet. Okay, so anyway, now that I've uh, gotten past that, um, last time we talked about how for prisms and for cylinders, there's only one formula you needed to know, which was V equals big B times H. For pyramids and for cones, there's also only one formula you need to know, and instead of being just BH, it's actually going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be one third times area of the base times the height. Let me see, is that going to reduce your glare? Hopefully a little bit. All right. So uh, there's some really cool animations that I could do of this. Uh, well, I have, you know, the resources at school. But basically, if I were to have like a cylinder and I had a cone, right, um, it would take three of the cones, assuming that they have the same radius and the same height to fill up the cylinder. If you've ever been to a doctor's office, you know how a lot of times they give you guys like paper cones. The reason is they don't want you taking so much water when you go to a little water machine. Otherwise, they would give you a cylinder instead. So you can think of it as they're, they're trying to cheat you or they're trying to get you to take less. All right. Now, anyway, let's take a look at how this is going to work. Okay. Starting on page 11, we're going to look at number one. All right. Once again, that's page 11, number one. All right. So number one is a rectangular pyramid. Right. All right. So these four go up. This is... 10, 11, and the height is 16. I apologize for how badly that's drawn, but again, I just, you know, we all do the best we can, right? Okay, so how exactly are we going to approach this problem? Well, we're going to first use one third area of the base times height. Now, if the base is a rectangle, how do I find the area of a rectangle? Base times height, right? Or I could say length times width. So all I need to do here is one third base times height, that's going to be 10 times 11, and then the height of the actual pyramid is 16. So let's do a little bit of math here. All right, I'm going to do 16 times 11 times 10, then divided by 3, and I'm going to get that volume is 586.7. All right, 586.7. Uh, let me check what the units are here. It should be cubic inches, all right, inches cubed. So essentially, very, very similar formula to prisms and to cylinders. The only difference is you just got to multiply by one third, all right? Let's take a look at an example for a cone, shall we? Uh, we're going to start off with example number seven. Once again, which number? We're going to start off with number seven. Oh, no. I'm going to drop, uh, drop my little eraser rag here. Okay, so that one is kind of like an upside down cone. Looks kind of like this, right? They gave us a radius of nine, and they gave us a height of 17, all right? And they want us to use the formula one third area of the base times height. Well, let's write that out. So I've got that here. Now notice, the base is a circle. What's the formula for a circle? Pi r squared, and then multiply by the height. So as you guys are noticing, there are a couple key concepts that keep coming back here. As long as you guys are okay with the basic 2D area shapes and their formulas, like circles, triangles, rectangles, trapezoids, you're going to find a lot of these volume problems to be really, really easy. All right. So in this case, the radius is 9, so 9 squared times 17. Let's do some math. So 17 times 9 times 9 times pi divided by 3, and that's going to be 1,442.0, technically, right? 1,442.0. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. If you look at example 6 and example 9, those are a tiny, tiny bit different, right? Example 6 gives you the slant height, so does example 9. What kind of triangle do the government have to draw in order to be able to find the true height of those shapes? Anyone? Okay, so it's going to be a right triangle, and I'm going to have to use my favorite theorem ever, the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Once again, when you're working on your homework, example 6 and example 9 are going to be exactly the same process. 
The only difference is you're going to have to draw a right triangle first in order to use Pythagorean theorem to find the true height. Okay?